Next, we're going to start how the SD, which is sales and distribution module in SAP, and MM integration happens. So here I've created some points here again. So first point of integration is stock trans transfer order with SD delivery. Okay, if you remember in one of the previous videos, I shown you that how a stock uh, STO is created in SAP PP side, and there are two types of STO. In and the second one STO was where you using the SD delivery. So that means you will be creating a S an STO in SAP MM, and the second step will be the delivery process, which is VL01 and transaction from SAP SD. You will be using to send the STO to the other plant. Okay, so we already covered this one. So that's one point of integration where MM and PP are interfacing. Point number two is third party sales order processing. Okay, so this sales order processing I'm talking about SAP SD. Okay, in SAP SD, there's a functionality called third party sales order processing. In brief, what it is that using this functionality, we can create a sales order in SAP SD and then from the sales order the requirement will be sent to the vendor okay that means our company is not directly delivering the goods to the customer however our one of the vendor of my company will be delivering the goods to the customer okay so we don't doing we're not doing anything it's sort of like trading you can say so in this process what happens is you'll be creating a third party sales order and then the requirements will be sent to the vendor vendor will deliver the goods direct to the customer okay and send us the invoice okay and the whole and then we'll be charging and we'll be sending an invoice to the customer directly okay so vendor is charging us we are charging customer okay so that's in brief but here i have written down some steps here so first sales order is created in sap sd second a purchase requisition is created in the background automatically okay because of the sd sales order third with reference to the sales order a purchase order is created for vendor so with reference to the sales order system will be or you can create it manually a purchase order from the purchase requisition and will be sent to the vendor and next vendor will deliver the goods direct to the customer and vendor will send my company an invoice and i'll be going doing going to process the invoice via my go myro transaction not my go and as i said your company process the invoice via maro my, uh, and finally we'll be billing the customer directly from sap sd perspective so that's the third order sales order processing and here you can see that how the sap sd and mm are integrated so from sales order the purchasing processes has been started purchase requisitions are created and we doing all the normal procurement process for the sales order then we have point number three is availability check data is also taken from smm though you control this data in sd okay so there is a thing called availability check if i show you that in the material master here if i go to mm02 open a material here say this one enter your plant and sales organization and if you directly jump to this tab sales and general plant here you can see there's a thing called availability check okay if i open that you can see there are different rules we have like daily requirement individual requirement current stock things like that so this is maintained in the material master and this is used in the sales order okay so for sales order how you how you want the sales order to do the availability check of the material okay now if i press f1 here it will tell you what availability check is that means while the sales order creation process where the system should be checking the availability like should system consider the purchase order reservation purchase requisition things like that okay so if you want the system to if you go to the customizing of the availability check again which is sap sd side 
and you can see that you have you can select different option for the availability check for example whether you want to use purchase order purchase requisition STOs reservations or something else okay so so this integration is basically with SAP MM okay so as I said availability check is a part of SAP SD will be used in the SD sales order but the availability check is done in the SAP MM side which is the in the purchase order reservations and requisition and all that so that's another integration point between SD and MM then MRP data maintained in material master is used for availability check in SAP ST sales order so as you know that we maintain this MRP 1 2 3 4 in the data here so this data will be used during the availability check in SAP ST sales order so depending on what data you maintain what MRP type you maintained is MRP no MRP things like that system will be using the MRP views data from material master during the availability check in SAP SD sales order point number five when a sales order is saved in SAP SD requirements are transferred to SAP MM for further planning and procurement so so as soon as a salesperson will be saving a sales order system will be sending the requirement to SAP MM site where the MRP will run and system will be generating the requirements so that's where the integration happens again from the sales order to MRP MRP will further start the procurement process and the last one is when you create a delivery okay so again in in SAP SD basically there are three step process in SD uh, what they do is let me write down here In SAP SD, what happens is in brief, they create a sales order. Next step happens is delivery. Okay, we'll send the delivery, or you can also call it call it picking and packing. We we'll send the goods to the customer. Okay, and finally, billing. We we'll send an invoice to the customer. So there's a three-step procedure in SAP SD. So during the billing system using some movement types because what is delivered when you send the goods to the customer that means we're reducing our stock whatever goods we are sending to the customer we're reducing our stock so during the delivery some movement types are used and those movement types will be further a part of sap mm as you know the movement types we use in sap mm and they will be used for the delivery process and what they're doing is ultimately reducing the stock when the goods are sent to the customer via the delivery process in SAP SD. So that is the point here that when you create a delivery for SAP SD sales order, then goods issue, which is SAP MM side, takes place in the background using the movement type 601. Okay, this movement type is configured in SAP MM. And that's all for SDMM integration. Thank you very much to watch this video.